It is trapped. Confronting powers that surpass you.
Looks like things are back to normal. What's going on? It never ends. Damnation. That's... that's me. going on. You must live. 
and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? <laughs> What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop. Holden? They do to you. Can you speak? What is this? Is it? He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no, no. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. 
He always knows these things when it's about me. Who put you here? But Charles, of course. He tries to protect me. So he locked you in this rat hole out of love? Love? He is the only one who still believes he can feel it. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no! Who's there? Just you wait. You won't get far. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no! Hey! <gasps> yeah. Just you wait! I got this. You won't get far. Okay. Come out of your dumb hiding hole. Don't get far. Okay. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! I'd be better off finding a tool. <sighs> I'd be better off finding a tool.
All right. That should do it. Let's move. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you! No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. <coughs> what? Sarah has seen things has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She's weak, physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. <laughs> Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league. Detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah.
No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office.
You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature, and to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects, 
I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Was she afraid? Did Charles Hawkins break the lock to enter? If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it.
damn it. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? I'm sorry. I haven't heard anything from her. But I'm sure she's fine. She must be in the hospital, or home. I already checked. She wasn't at home. And no one's seen her in Riverside since you set the cellars on fire. You know more than you're telling me. I'm certainly not as good a detective as the great Edward Pierce, but I still know when someone's lying to me. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Fuller has committed too many atrocities. He carried out his experiments on Sarah, on me, and now he has killed Dr. Colden. He must die. He will suffer the fate he deserves, I promise you. But we must keep calm. He's not alone. We must identify his accomplices in order to put an end to their schemes. If you say so. But I'm only interested in Fuller. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always.
Ah, it's you again. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the Dagger of the Ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the Dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture, in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it.
bullet that Drake was looking for. I prefer to be alone. Ah, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> you bet I will.
You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction, and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? There's a bunch of fanatics who are attacking this island's most ancient beliefs. I suppose these are the ones who desecrated the statue of St. Brendan. While I'm looking at a man who burned down a hospital. Influential people from your community are part of it, operating in the shadows. You got a real imagination, detective. There was a tunnel leading to their hideout under the Hawkins mansion, but it caved in. Oh, how very convenient. Right. Enough time wasted. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker, we meet at last. Who's there? of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, 
but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Algernon, come back! Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor.
find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. have appeared somewhere on the floor. The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ready, sir. Run! I'll must never have forgive myself somewhere on the for floor. this painting. How many are there? The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. I'll never forgive the first myself. For must this have painting. appeared somewhere on the floor. How many are there? The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ah! I'll never forgive must myself have appeared for this somewhere painting. on the floor. How many are there? The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The cliff is ready, Sarah. Run! <laughs> I'll never forgive must myself have appeared for this somewhere painting. on the floor. How many are there? Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. Move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is ready, sir. Run! <laughs> the second symbol has been revealed. 
You know what you have to do, Sarah. That is what I'm doing. Some oil. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look, he's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. That is what I'm doing. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. some oil. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. That is what I'm doing. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. The 
second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. How many are there? I'll never forgive myself for this painting. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. How many are there? That is what I'm doing. I need some oil. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. be 
here somewhere. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. That is what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. I need some oil. Be here somewhere. Look, look, how many are there? The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. That is what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing.
You know what you have to do, Sarah. the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. The Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him.
Now is when matters get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. Sarah, only one glyph left to find. some oil. The glyph is near. I'm sure of it. One glyph left to find. The glyph is near. I'm sure of it.
Let's go, Sarah. It's over. Do you hear something? I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. My old friend. It's too late. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it! Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? The villagers, me. We're all in danger as long as you're alive.
go to sleep, keep having the same dream? Or should I say nightmare? The pain in my chest is as if I was being skewered. Darkness, cold, silence. And I wake up in a hospital bed alive. hearing it and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? Huh. We don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! Listen, miss, we didn't see what happened, but we heard. Uh, noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished.
if someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? We came from here. Down the stairs. So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers, Fitzroy. You're not supposed to be here, Truth Seeker. What's going on outside? Piers, wake up. What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Sarah Hawkins, she... Ah! What? Tell me! My head! You're coming into my head! Bradley, damn it, pull yourself together! They got me! I can't resist any longer! 
We've been working together since I arrived here. I know you can overcome it. It's too late. I lost Sarah Hawkins. What? I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later that they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me! I'm sorry. I got... I got to Must... Get... What... Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Who's there? Stop. Oh, God. No. What am I doing? No. Who's there? Away! Ah! It looks like an old seaway map. And when they found me, they ate my flesh. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, Truth Seeker. The most precious gift of all. The truth. The ultimate truth about life. If I prove able to resurrect life, then it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the end of God, be very ancient and powerful. Exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. As I am the oracle, I speak for him we cannot name. She done. Bloody Captain. I'm not dying in this rat hole. Come on. If I find 
What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding... I'm a goner. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. I won't last long. How many died because of this madness? Is that you, detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. I'll make it quick. I'm dying. It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. They got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it?
whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. Something to fix this wound. Here, take it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the entrance to the whaling station is behind. Sorry. Damn it.
Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Locked. Use that to hold the reservoir back. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Doesn't work. It mentions the Leviathan, how it drove the sailors mad. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door.
Rivera. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythology. Who knows what I can make with you? I, I killed him. A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. the truth and be free. Nothing's happening. Thank you. 
nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening.
Pierce! Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head! Our supreme oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? It is awakening. anymore. <laughs> Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, 
Where am I? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Soon be time it appears. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. This is madness. I'm here to guide you. You mean, like the voice? Don't you feel him? But it can't be. He's gone. You're mistaken. He's still inside of us. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What? Is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one. Neither them, nor you. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in.
what happened to me. Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. The Miraculous Catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. Fuller, you died in front of my eyes. 
Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I'm almost there.
Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. <laughs> 